welcome back to Cogent TV. I'm presenting this episode from the Southern Electronic Show here in Farnborough. The show's running over two days and the Cogent team are here in full force, chatting with customers and making new ones. If you've been down, we hope you've enjoyed chatting to them and I hope you found it useful. In this episode, we have Michael, our engineer manager, with his regular design feature. Robert, our marketing director, talking from the Southern Electronic Show about manufacturing in the UK. Nigel, our MD, with news of a recent investment at Cogent. Last but not least, we'll be hearing from Laura at Anglia Circuits, one of our key suppliers. Hi there, I'm Laura from Anglia Circuits. I would like to think that Anglia Circuits have been a key, trusted and loyal cog in Cogent supply chain since they were founded all the way back in 1985. So for the last 28 of the 45 years we have been manufacturing high quality circuit boards at our Cambridge site. The services we have supplied are bare circuit boards at prototype to mid volume or to high volume with our offshore connections. We've maintained continuous relationship with Cogent through ever-changing and sometimes difficult times. The main reason for this long and successful partnership is that we share in Cogent's ultimate aim of excellence in manufacture, which focuses on realising products of high integrity that are manufactured efficiently, cost-effectively and of course always delivered on time. We also mirror in Cogent's view that long-term successful relationships are the greatest testament to any valued service. We at Anglia, like Cogent, recognise that in order to maintain our relationships, we need to make continuous improvement to our processes whilst remaining open and honest in response to customer needs. To this, end communication is key and thankfully, the guys here at Cogent have always demonstrated this attribute. Long may our relationship continue. It's great working with Anglia, and that was one of our supplier focuses, first of, many to follow in next episodes. In this next article, we'll be hearing from Nigel about recent investment at Cogent. And don't forget, we'll also be hearing from Robert and Michael later on. Thank you, Lucy. Okay, big investments at Cogent Technology. We've invested primarily in our surface mount area. I took a walk down there with Jason Gross of My Data to look at the new surface mount pick and place machines and how we've been investing there. Hello, oh, just want to introduce you to Jason from My Data. Good morning. He's here today. We're just looking at uh, the new line that we've invested in, and I'm uh, just going to walk down the line and point out a few key features. Okay, Jason, this is our existing yeah. My 100 PX, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but we've done an upgrade to this. Can you tell As us about that? As part of the purchase of the new machine. Um, in order to maintain compatibility, we've got graded their existing DX, um, improved the camera system, and also the software on the machine, um, giving them a, a greater flexibility on the components they can place, and also increasing the, the real speed of the machine as well. Yeah, we should get less spit off from the machine, and yeah. be less errors picking up parts yeah. and what have you. So that's that's good. Okay, let's walk down and look at the uh, real piece of investment. Okay, Jason, this machine used to be our old My9. Yes, correct. But so this looks exactly like the DX100. Yep, yep. You've, uh, obviously your desire was to uh, push the My9 out to use yep. for sort of the lower volume batches. So the uh, perfect solution was our new My200 series machines. Um, similar in some respects to the My100 that was always at the front of the line. Um, the advances in the My200 series are the uh, a benefit in the placement heads, um, changes to the vision systems again to give you the same benefits that you, you will now see on the upgraded My100, um, giving Cogent now a line uh, capable of 74,000 cph um, and just over 208 mil feet. Compared to where we were in terms of placement rate, where the you nine. were, the mine nine was originally rated at twenty thousand cph. And this part of the line, this part of the line is now forty thousand cph. So effectively, you're doubling your capability. Excellent. Okay, Jason. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so as you can see, it's not just about investing in a new machine. Existing machines have been upgraded to the latest technology and vision systems, and it's generated a new new product introduction line completely separate from main production 
that's going to bring big benefits to uh, the process. In addition to the service mount machines, we've also had to invest in a uh, new BTU Pyramax oven in order to accommodate the rate of uh, board production and doubled our capacity with more Octavision systems from DCB on AOI. So finally, the last thing we've invested in is in conformal coating capability. For years we've been dipping and spraying, requiring an awful lot of masking. So now we've invested in a PBA650, which is a robotized conformal coating machine, bringing us greater capacity and throughput of conformal coat and greater level of consistency of coat. So in summary then, it's an extended capability in that area, new MPI line in surface mount, higher rate of throughput in surface mount, we're all set to go. Back now to the show with Lucy. So there you have it. Cogen has increased its SMA capacity for 2014. For more information, visit cogentcem.com. Next up is Robert talking from the Southern Electronics Show about manufacturing in the UK. Now, what's the Southern Electronics Manufacturing Show all about? Well, it's about 800 companies come together under one roof so they can be here for you guys to come round and find that new supplier or that new product that will take your company onto a new curve. In this day and age, you've got the internet, you've got websites, you've got Twitter, you've got YouTube. The shows still have their place. They're the opportunities for you guys to come down and meet the people, find the relationships and shake the hands. We at Cogent Technology, we encourage our potential customers to come down to our facility and meet the team. We'll always welcome you. I'm not sure if you saw recently in the news, but the national GDP had grown by 0.7%. But were you actually aware that manufacturing in the UK grew by 0.9% in the same quarter? The interesting thing is that manufacturing is only 10% of the contribution to the national GDP. Whereas I'm afraid the power horse still in the UK exists in the service sector. A huge whopping 75%. But going forward, you manufacturers out there and ourselves, if we keep growing, we can have, hopefully in the future, a bigger impact on the national GDP in this country. Let's hope we can all do that and make an impact. If you didn't know what the show had to offer and what's happening to UK manufacturing, you hopefully had a better idea after that. It's now time for our regular feature with Michael. I wonder what design tips he has for you this time. Welcome back to Cogent Technology TV and uh, my design tips. Unfortunately, this tip has had to be cut short due to all the other activities that we've been up to uh, earlier in the episode. So uh, I've literally just got uh, one or two minutes to uh, quickly talk about uh, depaneling PCBs from their panels. Um, generally, Cogent will uh, panelise a small PCB into a multiple uh, in order to help our processing. On larger panels that isn't necessary but we might still need to have um, a PCB waste material at the top and bottom to allow our automated processes so the PCB uh, can run through our conveyor systems if uh, you have components close to the edge. Um, but in general PCBs are small enough that we would be uh, looking at a multiple panel. So in terms of how we can uh, panelise our PCBs, we can uh, make the breakouts using either V-score or routing. Um, the first method, V-scoring, is uh, our best utilisation of PCB material in that we don't necessarily need uh, a gap between the PCBs in the panel, so we can get more PCBs into our panel that we're using. Um, unfortunately, it, due to the way that the panels are broken out, it does uh, restrict us in that the panels need to be rectangular in shape, uh, although some very small uh, irregularities in the profile can be accounted for. Uh, but we definitely can't have any overhanging components as these would be uh, damaged in the uh, depaneling process. The second method that we can utilise for uh, holding the PCBs in their panel is routing. Uh, this utilises what we call PIPs. Uh, small areas of material which hold the PCBs in the panel during processing 
which we then have to cut through in order to, to take the PCBs out of the panel or depanel. Um, in our standard PIP, um, the uh, depaneling process will leave a small witness mark or bump on along the edge of the PCB where the PIP was. Um, if in your design um, this isn't desirable because you need the PCB to be flush, for instance if it's going in a case or some sort of assembly where the PCB edge is pressed up against uh, part of the unit, what we can do is utilise an inboard PIP. Now the inboard PIP will make sure that the uh, witness mark is sub-flush to the edge of the PCB but unfortunately some design consideration needs to be taken on the count of the PCB as the inboard PIP actually takes a small section away from the edge of the PCB so if there are any components or tracks in this area we can't utilise an inboard PIP. Well thank you very much for watching today's episode. I told you it was going to be a busy one. That's all we have time for this year. The team will be here again next year at the same stand, F73. So if you need us before them, you can contact us at www.cogentcem.com. It's at the bottom of the screen now. And thanks for tuning in. That's all from me. See you next time. Just quickly before we go, if you came to our stand at the show and entered our competition to win the mini iPad, You'll be wanting to know who won, and I'm delighted to report that John Gunn of DMS Technologies was our lucky winner. So we hope he enjoys his surprise. See you next time.